hello guys and welcome to today's video in this awesome video guys we are going to be discussing about the benefit or the importance of having proper field evaluation before you purchase that your land you want to use for an agricultural purpose so come along guys all right so assuming you come across a field like this and you probably the agent has told you madam or oh, god this please good well well people they farm here people they farm here don't be deceived okay you need to ask certain key questions there are a couple of things the agents would never tell you okay the agents would never tell you the state of the soil but then someone who evaluates a professional would tell you okay the value of the soil an agent will not tell you a certain history of that land but then when you bring an expert he would explain better to you an agent would rather you know just take you to places where he knows you would like and he knows you would also not ask certain key questions okay now a lot of things you know go on in certain areas this particular location you know we have issue of you know guys coming to mine gravel from the field so all they do is you know they take out the top soils and they go down into where the gravels are found so i'm going to show you the different layers of this soil let's just take a, a look at this soil profile as you can see now this is the top soil but then these guys will dig down to this point until a layer where they can easily find gravel so they literally have no regard for the topsoil and they can you know literally damage the soil all because they want to you know pick up the gravel from that soil so now you in your innocence now comes to you know you now come to purchase that same land now probably because weed and all that have covered the surface of the of the soil you are not even aware that this very soil has been mined the top soil where you have the bulk of the nutrients organic matter presence and all of that have been destroyed and then you just basically have gravel and a bit of you know you no know, loose soil and all of that that are not so you know does not really have the major nutrient the top soil and all that has been you know taken out all in the name of my mine, mining out the gravel so guys this is basically what i was referring to basically what i was referring to this is the top soil if you pay attention to the soil profile this is the most important part for you know crop farmers this is the most important part but then these guys go all the way to the, the lower layers of the soil profile just to dig out the gravel to mine gravel because this is what is important to them nothing concerns them with the top soil so literally when they destroy this top soil what happened what are you left with you are left with probably stones gravel of course your crop will grow but you spend a whole lot on trying to manure the land this these are all tops you know top soils that have been excavated they've all been mined out all in the name of trying to you know extract these are some of the top soils yeah we have them here this so now they're going to leave out this place for maybe a couple of years to and then you know grasses would have covered up just like you have here grasses would have grown you know and you will probably feel that you have a land for an agricultural purpose but then what you actually have is literally gravel and then you cultivate the crops and gonna do well so i just really wanted to call your attention to this because a couple of farms uh this is actually the challenge they are faced with so when these things are not you know properly evaluated and then you purchase a land like this 
for you if you, if you look down this whole place have literally been mined and the topsoil is destroyed the agricultural the most important part of the soil that supports agricultural production has been literally destroyed and then you purchase it for your agricultural purpose crop production purpose then it's really going to be a mess you know so this offense you also watch out for so there are also other factors why you should have an expert come evaluate before you make that purchase now there could be activities of headers in that very location you need to be aware of all of this because you know the headers are actually a major threat when it comes to farming this guy can literally go into your field coming with you know a couple of cows and they destroy everything you've ever invested in they are that horrible and you want to make sure areas where you're making your purchases you do not have activities of headers in that very place you want to ensure that headers or whatever they are you know are not you know always grazing in those areas now the person who wants to sell the land to you will not supply this information it would rather just you know bamboozle you a little bit so you can make your payment and after payment pa now belongs to him this is another thing i would also want you to to note do not always be in a haste to make purchases or to make payment take your time take your time don't be in a competition with someone else before you make any purchases so you are probably competing to get a place you want to use for farming they are always land land is always available so don't make the mistake so you don't make wrong choices especially if it's an agricultural land the next factor you must always pay critical attention to is the accessibility of the farm you're about to purchase yes i mean it don't ever listen to those guys who tell you ah madam we could just bring bulldozer clear everywhere and then let them go get that bulldozer do the clearing before you make your payment except if you have the money you know the resources to create an accessible road to your farm or if you don't it's preferably you get a farm where the road is accessible i know what i'm saying you should get a farm where the road is accessible you should get a farm because you are literally going to need an access road for everything you want to bring in input planting materials to your farm you need an accessible road you want to take out farm produce after you've produced on your farm you need an accessible road so don't listen to any crap or any stories people are coming up with these agents they're coming up with oh in in, in no time we're going to have this office let them fix it before you make that payment because once you've made that payment power now belongs to the seller now that you've bought you no longer have power you can't make demand because they have gotten what they want but then when you still have that power before you make your payment then they would listen to you and if they truly have intention of creating an accessible road they will do that there are still a couple of things you might also want to check out also check out if there are other farms around your area okay where you want to make this purchase so uh, just to you know have an idea to ha have an idea of the history of the of the land if you can you can as well engage a couple of you know farmers if there are farms in those area or you can only as well engage the locals to just have an idea of you know security that one is very very critical so you don't have humans you know now feasting on your food or on your produce or on what you produce on the farm so you need to make you know these inquiries so this will then inform you to know of if you are going to be engaging the security personnel for the farm or you do not really need to do that the security of the location is very very critical make sure you make all these inquiries prior purchase another thing no you might feel oh i can easily you know just get vehicles and take my 
produce to the market but you want to ensure that the market is not like thousand miles away from your farm you want to ensure that you have your farm where you can easily get market for your produce except when you're producing on a very large scale aha uh -huh. that you know you can afford the logistics you know involved or the logistic cost of you know moving the produce from your farm down to the market then you can afford but, but then if you're doing it on a very small scale do not get a farm that is very far from the market this is very critical and because you wouldn't want, i wouldn't want a situation where you are now coming to complain that after producing i didn't get people to buy oh we'll come to buy after buying would they be able to compete you know healthily with other people who have bought from a nearby farm so you need to consider these factors and also you will not have the control in terms of price when you have your location quite far from the market people just comprise you anyhow because you feel like i probably don't have a choice you sell below your cost of production so you don't want these situations happening you want a situation where you can you know confidently produce and then also make sales because that's the whole essence of production is, is to make sales if after producing it doesn't get to the final consumer then your production circle is not complete yet and we do not want that we want a complete production circle from your farm than to the final consumer or than to the factories that would you know process into finished goods but, but you just want to make a sale and ensure that you make profit at the end of the day so consider the closeness or the distance from your farm than to the market all these are very very critical Another thing you would also want to find out again is the availability of labor in your location. Is it a location where you can easily fire and hire? You need to know because in this farming business, you must learn how to fire and hire so as to make you know, profit at the end of the day. So you should try to be in a location where you can easily access labor okay if you can easily do that then you know you are good so a lot of factors are really talked about but then if you are still new in the game and you probably want a thorough evaluator to come evaluate the field and give you recommendation power payment a couple of people who don't even you know stay in nigeria at the moment and then they want to make purchases just talking to the agent over on the phone and then you probably have intention of using that same field for agriculture crop production now you don't really have any if, if you want to use it for let's say livestock you are not so particular about the state of the soil but if you want to use that farmland for crop production everything about the soil must be well and definitely you need to engage an expert you need to engage an expert an agronomist to go evaluate that field before you make payment so that you don't end up with regrets at the end of the day so guys it's very very critical so at this point in time if you haven't subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel should have a cultural hub do what to punch on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell and do what to give this video a thumb up it has been an amazing time guys and all these things we've I've, I've been able to mention are quite critical but then if you want to purchase and you probably you want one of our team members from Chidava Cultural Hub to come evaluate all you need to do is rush down quickly to the description send us a message and definitely we'll, we'll be there to help you out evaluate and then give the right recommendation also just send a whatsapp message that will be preferable state why you are reaching out don't just say hi uh -huh. if you say hi that means you probably don't you know 
have why you are chatting us so please say hi and then go straight to why you are chatting us and then and let us know so that we know how to attend to you you know the whole lot of people to attend to but then when you are specific and would also you know be specific with you and give you a timely solution to any challenge at all with your crop production okay so that is why we are here at Chidava Cultural Hub go nowhere guys do it right. Peace.